are headed up to San Surveyne Road. This is a seasonal road that's open very short windows. They, uh, they only have it open for hunting and then a very short time in the early spring. But uh, pretty much as a whole, it's probably closed for 11 and a half months or 11 months a year it's closed. So this will be neat to finally go check it out. Here's the road. And it's open. There's the gate. This gate is normally locked. It's locked almost, like I said, 11 months of the year this thing is shut down. So, first time I've ever been seeing this for like 20 years. Been wanting to come up here forever. And uh, it's always been locked. So, we'll see what we see. Right there. And there's a big pothole right there. Somebody's uh, beehive set up. And this is already pretty pretty awesome in here. Not even a couple hundred feet in and you come into this valley. I'm going up there. What you're seeing there is some of the, the first attempts at uh, using water hoses for mining. They would spray high pressure hoses up there. The official name of it is skipping my brain, but that's what that is. Or what's left of it. It's kind of overgrown. No fires up here at all. So if you come up here, uh, no open flames at all. That means barbecues, nothing. None of that stuff. Pretty smooth road, just uh, bumpy as like rut, not ruts, but like washboard, but not too bad. Up, 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 it just keeps going up. There's a, I saw in a guy's video he posted, uh, he hiked, long story there, but he hiked uh, the whole ridge line for Cucamonga and um, he notated this. So it looks like there's some year round water right here like some kind of spring that runs out of the side of the mountain right up here look at that yeah that's cool it's really green but the water's coming out of the ground like right here like right along here somewhere wow hard rock so that could be that could be like a fault zone right there but look at all these trees and greenery in here there's some fall colors coming in I'll let it roll a little bit on the trail so you can check it out. Yeah, you just would never suspect that this kind of scenery is back here. And it's very, very unused. That's a really old cement job right there. It's been there a while. You can tell by the type of cement. That's like 50s or older. So. Got some bedrock in there. Did you see that, guys? Yeah, we're going up these switchbacks. It's climbing fast through here. All right, we have crested um, this side, looking uh, east. 
And now we're uh, headed up these switchbacks. Looks like a road below us. I don't know where if that joins us somewhere. Or, or if that's like the one we came up on. I can't tell right now. It's weird. into some forest here, timberline actually. We're up at uh, 3,800 feet coming into some hanging trees up here. There's like a burned forest directly above us. Right up there, you can see it. Check that out. Just hanging on. Stopped on a point up here just to give the view. Got the moon coming out. It's going to be a bright moon tonight. So a little overlay. Uh, that's the 15 right down there. That's all the warehousing down the 215 stretch. You can see the white buildings. That's Mill Creek, right up in that canyon there. That's straight on. San Jacinto, San Gregorio, San Bernardino. It's all the warehousing in Rialto. Pretty neat. some more water there definitely a spring coming out probably a good place to put a game cam You'll probably get some animal um, stuff in there as we made it up here for the sunset that was the whole goal is to come up here and check this out what a view what do you think great shot Come on, we're gonna go up here. We're going up to this point and we're gonna watch the sunset. Looks like this used to be a road right here that they closed maybe in a fire. Gotta keep an eye out for rattlesnakes. It's still fairly warm out. I'm gonna check back with you guys when we get up here. Okay guys, what a view. Check this out. Wow. 
There's Cucamonga Peak up there, that point. There's some radio towers. We'll probably go all the way up. I'm just gonna watch the sun go down. And then we're gonna cruise as far up before it gets dark and then uh, turn around. But this is some panoramic stuff. I mean, you could set up a camp right here. Look at, in fact, that's gonna happen. Definitely gonna do that. This is a perfect campground. Just can't have any open flames up here. But look at this view. Talk about, I mean, where I'm at, it's almost like a summit because it's 360. I mean, everywhere, this is, so this is looking northeast. That's uh, uh, Cleghorn area. And then that's the rim of the world, that whole out that way. So this is all Cleghorn, Cleghorn right here. Palm, San Bernardino, downtown San Bernardino, like Little Mountain, and then all that. Look at that. So that's south, there's Saddleback, dead center. Wow. And that sunset. Amazing. You can see it, but you can see the ocean out there. There you see it. There's a fog bank. Pretty neat. I got a whining dog that wants to go for a walk. Right? You wanna go for a walk? Go for a walk? <laughs> All right, there's the last couple clips here. Uh, it's getting dark. We're still gonna go up. We're not quite to the top. We're not even to the campground yet. We still have a little way to go. I'm gonna mileage it on the way out and get the mileage for this and see what it is. But the views up here are just Amazing. All right, we got a truck coming in, so we're gonna back out. We are approaching an area here, a lot of forest, no open flames. I think we're getting near this campground, the Joe Elliott campground up here. But I wouldn't camp there. I mean, you can, I think you can I think you can kind of camp wherever really but they have the campground it doesn't say no um, no dispersed camping it just they just have this option I think up here of a campground but this is cool in here I wish I was here a little bit with more daylight walk around in this right here it's like a full-on forest through the trees all the way out to the valley right there it's like steep can you guys see that Wow that's awesome. Some power poles that creep over. I think those go to Lytle Creek. I think we're approaching pretty much near the end. Camp in, via camp in vehicles only use pull out. Man, that sign makes no sense. mountains now this is uh right about the 5,000 foot level on this road we're uh, nearing the Joe Elliott campground I'm not sure how much farther this road is to that spot I suspect it's not that far but if you're up here without four-wheel drive you're asking to get stuck in the middle of nowhere and I don't think many people are gonna come up here at any given day so if you're coming come with a four-wheel drive so you don't get stuck and have a problem. We've only seen one other car as a Toyota pickup on this road, so not a whole lot of people up here, which is neat. It's a good spot. So if you come up here, keep it clean. Don't ruin it for everybody else. No fires. Just come up and enjoy it. But yeah, it's kind of ruddy up here toward the top, so come prepared for that. Nice rut for you guys. problem. 